Recently, I found following interesting story on social media. The story is followed by comments. I hated growing up with gay parents. Right away, I want to make something clear. I'm not a homophobe. My sister is gay. Many of my friends are gay. If anything, even though I'm straight, having gay parents made me more comfortable with people in the old butt cue scene. It never really hit me that my family was different from most others until the third grade, when the bullying started. Word spread around the class that I had two moms, and before I knew it, I was being taunted for it on the playground. At this time, my relationship with my parents was still happy and loving, so I shrugged the remarks off. When puberty hit, though, I became increasingly aware of the hole in my life where I wanted a father. Granted, my relationship with my parents was already souring at this point for a variety of other factors. Still, I yearned for a male role model, someone to talk to about guy things. My parents had no male friends and only ever seemed to talk about males disparagingly. I would hear that men were inherently more violent, selfish, and unhealthy, and I began to believe them. Growing up in the environment that I did, I emerged with more feminine tendencies and a deficit of traditional masculine attitudes. It didn't help that I was homeschooled for the majority of middle school, leaving me without a basis for what most guys my age behaved or looked like. I didn't have any contact with male relatives either. My parents both cut off their families from my life. I returned to public schooling for high school, but found myself intimidated by most of my straight male peers. I eventually learned to talk like them and dress like them, but I never learned to be truly comfortable around them. To be fair, my parents were extremists, and I acknowledge that. They refused to allow my younger sister to attend sleepovers when her friends merely had fathers present, under the pretense that they might assault or even rape her. To this day, I'm still unclear where their anti-male sentiment emerged from, but they never seem to acknowledge the effect that it might have on me, a male. At around the age of 12, I began to understand more about the implications of my conception. My mother carried me through artificial insemination from an anonymous sperm donor. Being without a named father has put me into something of a perpetual existential crisis. I feel as though I was not even conceived out of love. I was conceived because my parents could afford to buy the necessary ingredient, some random guy's jizz. I will never know half of my biology, half of where I come from, and why I exist. I feel robbed of an experience afforded to nearly everyone else in the world. The worst part is I feel utterly alone in this state of being. Orphans and adoptees are entitled to want to know their biological parents, and they receive support for that desire. Children who have deceased or vacant fathers at least have their mother's memory to go off of, pictures, stories, a name even. I will always have nothing, and never felt supported for wanting more. Whenever I would bring up these feelings to my parents, they would be dismissed as pointless and ungrateful. I was told I was simply lucky to be born. Over the years, I've tried to make peace with this fact. I've managed to connect with some of my half-siblings on my father's side online spread across the United States. They don't have any clue who our biological father is either, but they all grew up with fathers in their homes. I don't think I'll ever be at peace knowing my biological dad might be out there somewhere, and my mom doesn't even know what his face looks like. I feel completely alone in this sadness. I spent my teenage years envious of my friends with fathers, wishing that I'd been born into their family instead. As conceited as I know this sounds, I never felt validated as a straight male growing up. My parents wanted a daughter instead, and they got one a few years after me. I felt guilty and wrong for being a boy because there was no one in my family like me, and I was told time and time again that men were the devil. Once I became aware of it, Father's Day was one of the worst days of the year. I'm not trying to say that gay people shouldn't be parents. I'm only saying that they should be conscious of the impact that it will inevitably have on their children and that they should try to provide them with role models for their gender. However, I am against anonymous sperm banks. All of those anonymous donors are leaving their offspring to be with a question that will haunt them for the rest of their lives. I grew up in an isolated household with two moms who never seemed to have anything good to say about men. I never had a father figure growing up and will likely never know who my biological dad is. Being a man in my family felt like it was something wrong. It's all made me very bitter and sad. Edit. Wow. I didn't expect this to receive the attention that it has. Thank you too, to everyone who shared their support and validation.
I've hesitated to express these thoughts in a public forum for a long time. I've only ever talked about these things with my closest friends and sister. I ain't gonna lie, your words have made me cry more than once tonight. Some of you shared some great resources that I'll be sure to look into. I want to reiterate my agreement with what most people in the comments have said, which is that the problem did not lie in my parents being gay. The problem lay in my parents being a combination of gay, shitty, and negligent. I could have worded the title of this post better. I personally know of several happy gay families outside of my own and support any gay couples looking to raise a child, although I recommend adopting instead of insemination. The problems only arose in my own family because unlike those healthy scenarios, my parents had no concern for the additional complications their family type created and actively created a hostile environment. In sharing this post, I intended to raise awareness of issues that can arise specifically in gay families if the parents aren't conscious of how it will affect their children. It's different than with single parents because gay parents are knowingly creating an environment where their children will lack a traditional gender role and so I think it should be their responsibility to provide one. This was just my experience though, and I know it was an anomaly. I chose not to address it in my initial post, but my sister and I suffered additional verbal, emotional, and physical abuse from my parents. I only intended to vent about the loneliness that my family situation has led me to feel, the way that it has left me feeling incomplete. This abuse has drastically affected my relationship and perception of my parents, but I've always viewed this hollow feeling of an absent parent as separate from that. I moved out upon graduating high school last year and am now in a no-contact relationship with my parents. From afar, I've been trying to help my sister on the track to do the same. Since some people are curious, I was able to find my half-siblings through the donor sibling registry since their parents use the same donor number. That's all we have on my anonymous dad though, just a number and some basic physical features. I know from the file that he had a family of his own too. To all the people claiming that this post is fake, I don't know what to tell you other than that I know my experience is to be true. I understand that my story is a unique one, but I wish I could tell you that I was making it up. Edit 2. Wow, this really blew up. I never expected it to get more than a few comments. I'm honestly overwhelmed with the response that this has received. I regret titling this post what I did. I was tired and angry when I posted it and didn't think of the ways people could misinterpret it. I only ever intended to express my own experience living in a gay household, as I do not feel that that perspective is often shared. I do think having same-sex parents played a role in my feelings, though. Growing up in a lesbian household, I felt as though it was taboo to want a male parent. I was told that I should be grateful for having two parents like I did. And while I suppose I should be, many children never have that luxury. My parents were not loving, and the circumstances of their relationship made me feel guilty for wanting more. Gay households also lack a traditional gender role by default, and in my case, this challenge was not accounted for by my parents. I wasn't supported, but I know that my case is rare. I in no way intended to condemn all gay families in my original post, but it seems that it was interpreted that way by some people. I only ever meant to share my personal experience, and I never thought it would gain this much traction. If I really was a conservative role player of some sort, I don't think be so quick to rescind my words, especially if it was my goal to push an anti-gay agenda. Everything I've shared is true. I'm sorry for any hurt that my wording may have caused. Many people have accused me of fabricating my story, and that's precisely why I've been afraid to speak up about my experience for so long. I never felt understood by my parents, and I never felt validated by society for feeling that way. I'm sorry not everyone believes me. Still though, I feel guilty for my words gaining the traction that they have when the title can be so easily misconstrued. I don't want this post to be a conservative talking point or an argument for why gay people shouldn't have kids. Please don't interpret this as gay people should never be parents. I only wish to shed a light on familial issues unique to gay families that can be avoided with with responsible parenting. If you're gay and reading this and want to have kids someday, I wholeheartedly support you. Be the best moms or dads that you can be. The fact that you're reading this is already proof you'll do better than my parents. I just wanted to share my experience and hopefully spread awareness. My parents are extremely toxic and abusive people, independent of their sexuality.
It just so happened that them being gay created additional challenges for me that they were unsympathetic to. Most gay parents are way better than this. Be like them, not my parents. Make sure your kids feel loved and supported no matter what. To everyone telling me to try talking to my parents about all of this, trust me, I already have. It's never gone well. They honestly seem to prefer their life now without me in it. I guess that's what's best for everyone. I tried therapy after I moved out but once COVID hit and in, person therapy was no longer an option. I realized Zoom therapy wasn't going to work for me. I feel as though I need to be in person with someone to really feel comfortable opening up about the specifics of my abuse. Oh, wow, maybe next year. Many people have suggested that I try using DNA tracing to find my bio dad. One of my half-siblings tried this earlier this year with 23andMe. And while we were able to track down who is likely a sibling or cousin, he refused to respond once he understood our relation. It seems my bio dad wants to stay out of my life and I'll just have to learn to make peace with that. Thank you to everyone who has expressed validation and sympathy. You guys don't know how much it means to me to feel heard and understood. I know I had a rougher start than most in life, and COVID really hit me hard with its forced isolation. I'm looking forward to the day that I can really start living the life that I want to lead. Someday, I want to be the dad that I never had. Uh. Comments. Hey, I too have lesbian parents and honestly, I haven't experienced any of the things Op has. I was also inseminated from an anonymous donor and I really don't care to know who he is. My parents were very loving and never spoke ill of men in general like Ops. I had other great men in my family, both my uncle and grandpa, which was fine with me. I never felt left out from the world because I didn't have a dad. I'm very happy I was raised by my gay parents and not a single mom. Nothing against single moms, though because at least I had two loving parents instead of one. I really wouldn't trade my family for anything. I am a male who also grew up with very loving lesbian parents who always encouraged me to be myself. I will say one of my biggest disappointments was not being allowed to join the Boy Scouts because they were so openly anti-gay at the time, late 90s. But I also supported my parents and understood them, so it was more frustration at the Boy Scouts than my parents. The problem for Op was that his parents were bad, not that they were lesbian. It doesn't matter what the topic is, when a parent forces a blatantly false ideology reality onto a child it is seriously damaging. Op's story reads like someone who was raised in cult. Seems like they are figuring out a better life for themselves now.